lovelies, it's your girl RJ. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, so I'm recording this in the evening and it's kind of the first time I've ever done that. So I've got my ring light going and I've put some light on the background to kind of help hopefully balance it out a bit. Um, I tried to do something previously and it didn't look too awesome. Now, let's get down to business. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that red button below. Also, you can hit that bell. It'll give you a notification every time I upload. And if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up so that I know you are enjoying the content. So as you all probably know, Sephora had their VIB sale. Um, I have been to Sephora twice and did an online order, and I think I got everything I need this time around. And as you may or may not know, they have another sale towards the end of the year, um, and I believe the discounts are a little higher. Um, I did make it to VIB Rouge at the very end of the year last year, so I think at that sale, um, Rouge get like 5% more, so maybe it's 20% off versus the 15. So I did, um, a local purchase and then I would ordered a couple things that were online only items and then they just opened a new store in Buckhead so I went to their grand opening launch party on Friday um, night after I left the Pinners conference if you haven't watched that video um, I think it's already up so I'll put a little card up here so you can hear all about that but anyway, um, and I picked up a couple of things there. So first off, and I just want to say, when you went to the Buckhead opening, you got this super cute tote bag. Um, I think you had to purchase $25 to get it. But it is like super durable. Um, it's like a canvas bag with short straps. But this is super cute. And I will probably take it with me to Gen Beauty in July. Um, I don't know if any of you guys are attending that in San Francisco. Um, I think it's July 28th and 29th or 29th and 30th. I can't quite remember. But it's the last weekend of July. Um, if you haven't got your tickets, um, I have a link below for you to click. Um, it does give me um, like a little discount on my ticket if enough of you guys use it. Um, but do it now because the ticket price will be going up soon and right now it's $99 and if you wait then I think it does a huge jump up to like $169 so definitely get on it if you're planning on going. So on Tuesday when if you went and shopped the sale and you were VIB Rouge you got a bag so now I have two Sephora bags. I got this cute one here. And I thought it was really cute. So I got that um, with my purchase. So I watched a video. Um, I wish I could remember who posted it because I would like to give a shout out to you. But it was talking about when Sephora has these sales, how to shop. So I can only remember two of the three. So one of them was to get an item or, or replace the items that you normally go through. So if you use um, you know, the same brow pencil and you know you go through three of them a year, go ahead and stock up. And then the other tip was to get a splurge item something that maybe you've been eyeing for a while but the price point is a little higher um, than what you normally like to spend on makeup so I kind of took that so, to heart um, I think it was skincare was maybe one of the other ones um, this one kind of falls into both categories so purity is my absolute favorite face wash I love it I love the smell I love how it feels on my skin I love how my skin feels after I use it um, so I did just get the 8 ounce this time I was going to get the 16 but I was on a budget <laughs> I was using the rest of my birthday gift cards and so um, I just got this one so my other items are wrapped in tissue paper these are all of course in-store purchases so the next item I got is something I have been wanting to get for a while but haven't I have a lot of samples of primers and so I tend not to buy them but I've heard really good things about the Too Faced Hangover RX um, that it's really good for oily skin and I wanted to just stop just using the samples just because I had them and get something to really try and see if it works well for me. This was kind of a splurge item. It's something that I have been looking at. Um, I've heard people rave about it and everyone says that it's an awesome item, but for the price, you know, you can get something else out there that is similar. Um, but I picked up the Hourglass, what is this called? Lip Stylos. And I went with the color Creator. Let me take it out and show you guys. I'm glad that I did it in store because online I had been looking at the color influencer, but when I swatched it, um, I didn't like it as much. So here it is. I'll do a little, little swatch for you guys. 
Can you see that? Hopefully this light isn't washing it up so much. For the price, it was kind of pricey. So I figured at 15% off, um, definitely had to grab it. Another thing I picked up, I do like, I will have to say, um, and I've heard that it can be good and bad. Sometimes you have to price compare. But I love shopping the little sample section, um, or not sample, but the like travel size section at that's close to the register. Um, it'll always have like the smaller eyeshadow palettes, the smaller size like um, primers, things like that. And I was looking and I saw, and I feel like I've seen it before, but I just never really swatched it. But it is the, uh, what is this? The Bobbi Brown Mini Shimmer Brick Compact, and it is gorgeous. Okay, so here's the little guy, and then when you open him up, look at that. Hopefully my lights come back a little bit. I just thought it was so pretty. Let me just do, I'm just going to take my finger across and do a big swatch. So hopefully... You can see that there, but those colors are gorgeous. Um, so I can't wait to try it out. I don't know what the size difference is or if this even comes in a large one, but it's very pretty and I'm very excited to have got it. So the next two items were online orders. They were available online only. And um, this one is also one of those items that I splurged on. It is the Viseart, I mean, I don't want to say it wrong, Petite Pro Palette. And it's definitely petite. Um, so when I first saw it, I've heard such amazing things about Viseart. Everyone says that their um, shades are beautiful, they swatch great, they feel great, they blend wonderfully. And so when I saw it pop up on um, Sephora's website and it was only like $30, I was like, okay. This one's in my price point. It's not like the $80 palette, and it's in like mauve, purpley, plum colors, which are my absolute favorite. Um, and then I saw some pictures on Instagram of how small it was. Like, here's the palm of my hand. Here's the palette. It is also gorgeous. You guys see those colors? Let's swatch a couple. So it's got... Four shimmers and four mattes, and I'm just going to swatch. This is my first time I just opened it up. Um, gosh, this is just like swirling my finger around. So, we didn't, yeah, we didn't swatch at the same. Oh, my God. Do you guys see that? That is like amazeballs. They feel so smooth and creamy. Okay. This is going to be an awesome palette. I can't wait to dive in and use it. All right, so the next thing that I picked up was the, or is the, uh, Kat Von D uh, little mini lipstick duo. Um, I love Kat Von D lipsticks, but I don't think I have one single full size. Every time that you can buy them for like the 100 point perks, I pick one up. Or I've got a couple that were like, um, you know, gift with purchase online. But I have like five or six of them. Now this set is Mother. And it's a, I threw it over here. It's a liquid lipstick and then just a solid lippy. So I wanted to see how close the two colors are. So let's swatch the lipstick. I think I... I wasn't going to do this like haul yet because I did just place one more, an order for one more thing. Um, and I solely did it because I think Everlast was available as a hundred point perk and it was up um, a few weeks ago when I went to order it, they um, were sold out. So I did just make a little like $5 purchase. So I didn't figure you guys would miss out on that. But here are the two together and you can definitely tell that the lippy is a little darker but they're both really great colors. It's a little brighter than what I normally wear, but spring, summer's coming up, so that's when you pop on those fun bright pinks. So I only have like two other items. I didn't go crazy. Another tried and true item that I picked up is the Sephora Solid Brush Cleaner. Um, not very exciting, but I love it. It works really well. And I think it's normally $14 for the large one. Another item that I picked up, which has been in my folder for 
couple weeks now, maybe longer. I feel like it's the Makeup Forever Liquid Lipstick in number 203. Does it have a name? No, it's just 203. And so this is, of course, a mauve pink. There it is right there. And I have never used um, this brand before, so I don't know how it feels on the lips, but the shade is gorgeous, so I thought I would pick it up. No crazy, I just got a few things. I do have, like I said, one super small order coming in. It's literally just some Sephora wipes um, just to get the, <laughs> the Kat Von D liquid lipstick. Um, I keep trying to save up my points to get something big, um, but I had like a thousand or over a thousand points when the Too Faced stuff was out and was like logged in before noon to try to get the um, peach palette and every time I'd refresh refresh not available and by the time it refreshed it was like sold out so I've kind of given up on any of those big point items and now I just get the hundred point items when they come in I don't like to think that the hundred points equals a hundred dollars is that how it works am I spending a hundred dollars for liquid lipstick maybe I don't know. Like I said, that's it. That's all I got. Um, I would love to know what you guys got. If you stocked up on some old favorites, found something new, did a couple splurge items like I did, uh, leave that in the comments below. If you like these little hauls, let me know. I definitely um, have bought a bunch of makeup, so I'm getting ready to do a get ready, full face, get ready with me video. And I've got some other stuff planned. As always, I love making these videos. I hope you guys love watching them. And until next time, bye guys. I don't like, what is this? <laughs> bye guys.